For around the last 25 years, the Broward County Sheriff's Office has been investigating this murder case, even making a video asking for the public's help. The case is now technically closed, but there's a possibility another victim could be from right here in Palm Beach County. I can't believe I saw him. I can't believe I saw him. That man <laughs> has haunted Amber Berry for 20 years. Gina was the greatest big sister to me. Her sister, she says, was murdered. It remains unsolved. She was found two miles from where we grew up in Palm Beach County. And she carries the good memories. <laughs> she taught and nurtured me immensely. She loved me without any faults. She was my best friend in my first lesson. And the trauma around her neck. I lock my doors in my home and in my car, and when I know they are locked already, it's hard for me to trust people even though they are the nicest person I've ever met. But that man, Mr. Boyd's present. she believes is guilty of her sister's murder after she says a detective told her his DNA was present. Just not having enough DNA is the problem. But prosecutors found enough evidence to charge him with a different murder. Her name is Eileen Trotner. This video from the Broward County Sheriff's Office shows it worked on the case for almost 25 years. It used advances in DNA to turn an unnamed sketch to a name to then a court case. A court case Amber Berry had to watch. Who was really a monster. If convicted, it would become Boyd's second murder conviction. He's currently on death row for the murder of a Deerfield Beach woman back in 1998. Excuse me. I need a tissue. <laughs> that man has caused Barry lots of tears. But today's trial is hope for her sister. It's a picture of us. And justice for victims. This event for me is a symbolic statement of hope fulfilled and justice served. We reached out to the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office late tonight to see if any other cases were related to this man in Palm Beach County. We're still waiting their statement. In West Palm Beach, Ethan Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.